Metabo has a wide range of machines when it comes to the sawing program, from table saws to circular saws to jigsaws, all the way to saber saws. <clears throat> and in this video, we're going to do some demonstrations of the two saber saws in the Metabo cordless program, both based on the 18 volt platform, lithium or lithium high density, and both of them have the strongest of motors we have in our cordless program, the LTX. Now, should you wish to know more information on these two machines individually as to scope of delivery or else features and benefits of either of the machines, please go to the Metaba SA YouTube channel where we have videos on both of them. Now, what we're going to do in this video, we're going to demonstrate them. We're going to do a couple of cuts on gum poles, on solid pine beams, also with a bimetal blade, a solid pine beam with nails in it, where we cut through all of that, and cutting some metal. We will show you the versatility and the multi-functions of these machines. The biggest difference between them is obviously size versus your application. Let's get right into the demos. I'm going to call on Nino to do these demos for us. Now we'll do the same cut with the larger machine. For the next demo, we'll be using the small machine. We'll cut a solid pine beam, but we're using a bimetal blade that will cut through the nails. As you can see, there are nails in the beam. We're going to show you first by cutting the heads of the nails off and then through the beam with the remainder of the nails in it. The same cuts can be done with a larger machine using the same blades. For the next demonstration, we'll be putting a rough wood blade into both machines and doing two rough cuts, trimming the pine beam down. For the next demonstration, we'll show you a different application where you actually change the blade so you don't cut in a downwards direction, you cut in an upwards direction, pulling the machine up towards you. For the next application, we'll be using a metal blade cutting a one inch tubing with a two mil wall thickness. Using the larger machine with a metal blade, we're now going to cut a two inch tubing with a three mil wall thickness.
Another little feature on the smaller Sabre saw, the Compaq, is that you can actually fit jigsaw blades and in so doing it, use it as a jigsaw or a fret saw cutting curves. On another note, what is very important when using a sabre saw, the secret is always have this foot piece hard up against your work piece. Because it's just like a jigsaw, a jigsaw has to be pressed firmly against your work piece where you're sawing against, because if it's floating away from it, as the gearbox pulls the blade back, it slams your machine into your work piece and you're ultimately fighting the gearbox, which will cause a gearbox failure. Now the next secret is you saw the demonstrator rock the machine while making his cuts. Now that is for maximum and optimum performance because if you're cutting straight like this, you're cutting the full width of the material. If you're cutting at an angle and rocking it like this, you're only cutting small pieces of the material and you see a much quicker cut happens. Optimal performance. Now should you wish to know any more information on the Metabo cordless range or the Metabo saber saws, please go to the Metabo SA YouTube channel Alternatively, contact your nearest Metaba agent.